Okay, finally back on the trail. The trip has, uh, I think it's been rescheduled at least twice. Uh, but I'm out here uh, again in the Uari National Forest. Uh, but this time I'm trying a completely different section from uh, Dutchman's Creek. I'm up here in the uh, Burkhead Wilderness at the Tot Hill Farm Trailhead. I've never been up to this section before. Just trying something new. But uh, I gotta say, this might be one of the more unique trailheads I've been to because it's uh, right next to a golf course of all things. Um, and kind of a noisy trailhead. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, hoping to get away from that. Um, but this is the, I believe this is the northern terminus of the Uari Trail. But it's, uh, it's mid-July, and this is only my second hiking trip of 2020. Um, so I guess that's typical 2020 nonsense. Um, <clears throat> I was originally supposed to do this uh, a month and a half ago, and uh, work, work got a little crazy. But I definitely needed this trip for a, uh, a recalibration. <laughs> Been, uh, it's been too long since we've been out in the woods. Uh, last last trip we had was uh, when Joe and I did the noose trip in April. So it's been far too long. Just happy to be back out here. Absolutely beautiful. And here's the first good times of the trip. Good times. So we've had some, probably our first real hot weather of the summer, um, where it's consistently in the 90s um, for like the last week or so. So I generally don't like signing up for punishment, but I just needed this trip bad enough that I was willing to suffer through the heat a little bit. But it'll be up in the, in the 90s today. Just gonna do a overnight loop and then probably camp uh, somewhere between camp three and camp five. But probably do around nine-ish miles today and then uh, three, three to the car tomorrow. So, Cause this loop's about 12 miles or so. Um, I discovered a guidebook for, uh, for this area. Um, author is Don Childry. Um, but if you Google, if you Google his name and, and you are a national forest, you'll find his book. Um, so I ordered it, ordered it directly from him. And, uh, it's a fantastic resource. Uh, and so it takes out, takes out almost all the guesswork, um, for coming out here and trying to plan a, plan a trip. Uh, it's just a little before 10 o'clock and, uh, I can already tell it's going to be a scorcher, but Nothing that I didn't sign up for, so won't stop me from complaining, but you know how it is. Just very, very content and very happy to be out here. Good times. Still uh, making my way up the Uari Trail. Looks like we're coming up to a trail junction here. Not sure. Uh, have to probably have to look at the map here. I'm guessing it's gonna go that way. Whew. To be continued, I'm gonna check the map. Well, the guidebook has already paid off because it just kept me from making a wrong turn. The other thing I've noticed is, you know, I knew I was gonna be doing some physical activity today, so I ate a, a hearty breakfast. But apparently I didn't need to because I'm about a mile in and I've already had at least two servings of uh, spider webs. So, still good times. All right, so 
according to this sign, 1.8 miles in. And uh, down that trail is Camp 3, uh, which I'll be camping close to tonight. Uh, I may go all the way to Camp 3, but I'm not going to go there just yet. going to continue on the South Burkhead Mountain Trail and uh, just make a nice counterclockwise loop. Uh, come back up to uh, Camp 5, uh, bang right, and then come back, come down the Camp 3 trail. Um, find a campsite down in there. Just a beautiful day out in the woods. Just wanted to take a moment to uh, give a very big shout out and thank you um, to the Uari Trailblazers. Um, this kind of work um, does not go unnoticed. If that hadn't that trail hadn't been cleared, um, that would uh, be a rather uncomfortable uh, detour. So. Thank you very much. The work is very much appreciated on this end. I can definitely say that. So. So here's our first stream crossing. Um, and quite honestly, this was the my biggest concern for this particular trip last year when I did my solo trip on uh, Dutchman's Creek um, we had similar um, not as not this hot um, but very dry conditions I was kind of sweating it for uh, for water resupply um, so the fact that there's at least something in this creek um, gives me a little bit of hope but it's at least there I can filter it but anyways um, it's at least good to see Taking a little breather, having some lunch. Got about four miles and some chain to the belt so far, but uh, this is my second liter of water. That was, I mean, I only, I'm only carrying two liters at, at one time. <clears throat> Got a creek here, so I'm gonna, I'll resupply here, um, and then I'll, I'll almost have to camp next to water tonight or refill at some point along the way because um, I will almost, I will definitely go through the, another two liters of water before I get to camp. I've just been sweating like it's going out of style. In no hurry today. Gone a little less than halfway. Probably three hours of hiking in front of me. If I take my time, which I will. This is the kind of heat you don't want. You don't want to have sneak up on you. Because um, it is, I mean, humidity is pretty high. Um, so heat exhaustion is a real possibility, so just taking it easy. Just loving sitting out here and listening to the birds and the wind. This is just about perfect. Yet another landmark for the trip. So I'm at the next uh, trail junction. So this is Hannah's Creek Trail. Um, but if you look on a map, that's uh, essentially the bottom portion, uh, the southern portion of uh, the loop, um, and then up there is uh, the Hannah's Creek Trailhead. So chipping away at it. I feel a little better now that I kind of know where I am, landmark-wise. Um, I don't want to get into camp too late. I do want to 
sit down and enjoy the evening. So, <sighs> good times. All right, soapbox time. So for the most part, this is a really clean trail. Um, it's well maintained um, and you don't see a lot of trash, but just on a whim, uh, I'm down here on the Hannes Creek Trail and uh, saw a little side trail. So me being side trail adventures, figured I'd go see what kind of adventure was down the side trail. And a uh, sweet little campsite right next to the creek. Um, definitely marked it on my uh, map. Um, as something to come back to but uh, it was a little disheartening because whoever stayed here last did not take care of it um, found uh, they cut down a live tree which I absolutely abhor um, and then they're leaving trash so don't leave trash I think it's motivated by mountains tell me if I get it right I think it's hashtag don't pass the trash um, but uh, yeah don't pass the trash if you're out there First off, don't leave trash, leave no trace. Um, but if you see some trash out there, pick it up, bring it out with you. If you don't do it, then who do you expect to do it? So we gotta take care of uh, take care of what we got. But still a, still a cool little campsite. Definitely something to come back to. But uh, still making good time. It's uh, just a little before three o'clock and uh, moving right along. Good times. Yet another milestone. Made it to uh, made it back to the Burkhead uh, Mountain Trail. Um, this is going to take me back up to Camp Five, and then I'll bang a right, go to Camp Three. But uh, just a little, a little debris in the uh, in the trail. Nothing to be worried about. I tell you what, I don't think uh, I don't think it's getting cooler yet. Um, I'm not going to lie, the heat is taking it out of me, but I've had, uh, five liters of water so far today. Um, finished one liter since lunch and I got one liter left. So I'm hoping that that all at least told me till, till camp. It's probably all of 90 degrees today and the humidity is, uh, a little thick. Still a beautiful day out in the woods. <sighs> Good times. You know, I consider sarcasm to be an art form. And so you may see me use it from time to time. My wife hates my sarcasm. But one of my favorite sarcastic, ironic things to say is when it's cold and everybody's like sucking, I'll be like, not so much the heat you get, the humidity, that's for sure. Bonus points if someone can tell me what movie that line's from. Usually I say it because it's ironic and sarcastic. But right now, it really is a humidity that's getting me. Whew. Still good times. I find myself taking more and more of these breaks as the day goes on, trying to uh, manage the, uh, the heat and the humidity. Well, I got about probably about a mile to my next trail junction um, where I'll uh, hang a right on the Camp 3 trail and hopefully downhill to a uh, campsite somewhere on that trail. <sighs> but it's hot, I'm not gonna lie. It's taking it out of me. I tried to uh, 
eat a granola bar and keep the calories up, keep the energy up. I'm almost there. Whew. Still good times. Okay, made it to camp five. That was not the most fun thing I have done today. Oh. So, I just need a minute. So I've only got, well, I've got less than a mile to where I'm looking to camp, but it's only a mile to uh, camp three. Um, and from the looks of it, it's gonna be all downhill, which I'm okay with at this point. But uh, the fact that I'm out of shape doesn't help. But the last few hundred yards, and it kind of sucked a little bit, but still good times. <sighs> See you out there. All right, made it. The last hour it seemed like a long hour. So there's a site between Camp 5 and Camp 3 um, on the Camp 3 trail. Pretty substantial. I was looking to see if there was maybe something a little more off the beaten path, but this has a fire ring and sitting logs, and it's pretty hard to beat. So this is going to be home for the night. All right. Now it's time to chill out. Good times. Here is my uh, tarp and hammock setup. I'm pretty friggin' excited about it. Um, more excited than I probably should be. Um, but this has been, this is the result of uh, me tweaking my gear and doing a lot of research and figuring out what I want. Um, and this is it, this is the finish line for me. This, so this is the hammock gear um, DCF tarp. It has doors um, that I've got pulled back um, I've added some uh, shot cord and mitten clips just to kind of keep those uh, tucked back. Um, I've added a, a mesh snakeskin um, for storage and whatnot. The real cool thing that uh, is very new for me uh, are these, um, I guess the trekking pole mod. Um, so the, the hammock, or the, I'm sorry, the tarp has these tie out points right here. Um, and I've taken some of the line and uh, looped it through with a pressic knot, and so you can you can adjust it as as you need. Um, but what it does is it pulls these corners or these pieces of the tarp out uh, and gives me more room on the inside. Um, this is especially important for bridge hammocks because I've got spreader bars. Um, so worst case scenario is a spreader bar pokes a hole in my new DCF uh, tarp. And then I'll start crying, and uh, and it'll just be a bad day. But uh, but anyways, this this gives me some more room on the outside or on the inside. I mean, um, but yeah, I first got here today. Just whooped me. Um, I don't think uh, I don't think I've been that tired in a while. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, Joe's and my first day up in the Smokies in January. But uh, the the temperature is a little different. Um, it definitely got into the low 90s today. Um, and then the humidity was probably in the mid 40s. A rather warm day, to say the least. So I was pretty smoked when I got here. And uh, I pretty much sat here for 30 minutes and did nothing other than eat Sour Patch Kids and drink water and try to feel better. But anyway, so I think the plan at this point is to crack some cold ones that I brought along and uh, make some dinner and chill out because it's been a been a fun day but it's been a heck of a day so good times brought some uh, beer verages with me food line was having a special and so it's got a little stank on it
nine percent so these were cold this morning so I'm gonna imagine them the way they were this morning oh yeah cheers it's good probably might not be able to handle two of those but it's good This year is the first year I've done it, um, but I've started dehydrating and then vacuum sealing my own food um, just to save money and uh, potentially slightly healthier than a uh, mountain house and whatnot. Most of these are left over from uh, the Noose River trip, uh, but this is uh, red beans and rice, that's what it looks like, and it's uh, pretty hard. I keep these in the freezer, so um, they potentially last probably up to a year if I let them go. I'm trying to work my way through them so I can make some new stuff. Um, my batch of red beans and rice made like six meals, so I've got a lot of uh, red beans and rice to get rid of. Bye.